Brownbeard makes his last stand, and Luffy breaks some teeth in my review of One Piece episode 615. Go ahead, play the trumpet, wave the banner, the friggin' hero has arrived. This is the stuff I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this big confrontation between Luffy and Caesar Clown. They've had these little scuffles over the course of this entire Punk Hazard arc, but after having our balls tickled by Caesar Clown's trollolo laugh for the last like 20 or so episodes, it looks like we're finally gonna get one hell of a battle between the two, and I cannot wait to see the result of it. What's good about this episode is it actually focuses on a character that tends to be forgotten a lot during this arc, and that is Brownbeard. And he's had sort of his ups and downs as this arc has gone on, and this has definitely been a down moment for him. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that he was basically tricked by Caesar and killed by all of his old comrades. Caesar Clown truly is one of the most underhanded, despicable villains I have ever seen in pretty much any medium at all. There's really nothing redeeming at all about his character, and frankly, he's just incredibly unpleasant at this point. But again, he's just another one of those villains you just love to hate. The last couple episodes of One Piece have been pretty heavy-handed with some of the material they've been throwing at us. And this one uh, is definitely no exception, getting to see Brownbeard's final stand. And just, it sucks, there's really nothing he can do against Caesar Clown. And he even goes as far as to get injected with this, like, muscle relaxer, which completely knocks him out, and he can't do anything. That just seems really messed up on Caesar Clown's part. And during all of this, Caesar Clown's just, like, torturing him even so by telling him he's the one who actually set off the bomb years ago and how this whole island is just basically about hijacking people and experimenting on them and doing evil science. And uh, this is all elaborated on a little bit more when Luffy finally strolls into the room. And uh, this is probably the best scene of the entire episode because it's all just Caesar Clown basically trying to scare Luffy away and tell him that he really shouldn't get involved with any of the stuff that he's been doing. What's also cool about this is he also goes on to explain what sad is. Apparently they are creating these fake devil fruits which will give you zone type abilities, which is when you can turn in, like, to an animal and have different animal forms, and they're gonna try and sell them on the black market, and there's even talk about people trying to have their own army of, like, zone types, and, uh, they're called, like, smiley fruits, and I don't know, it's just a really messed up idea, and it just shows how far Caesar Clown has gone, and, uh, what ties he has to a lot of the different people, like Don Quixote, Dolph Lomingo, and all those other folks. But obviously, this is all just a huge build-up. He's just trying to, you know, frighten Luffy, but this does nothing. And in typical One Piece fashion, Luffy is not going to be persuaded in any way, and he just decks Caesar Clown right in the face. It's so, so satisfying. Anyone who knows me personally knows that, like, my favorite anime move is just, like, a really good epic punch. So, I really felt this one. I jumped out of my chair and was like, yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about. I cannot wait for the next episode because it looks like a lot of action is really going to pick up. Obviously, I think we're going to go back to uh, Smoker and Virgo. But really, I want to see this Caesar Clown Luffy battle because it has been built up so much. They've had these little fights throughout this entire arc, but it looks like they're really going to throw down this time. And I just want to see Luffy go all out because, come on, he's the main character of the series uh, he's definitely got some of the most flashiest battles in the series, and this is a battle manga and battle anime, so uh, we gotta love it for that. So, uh, a lot of good moments in this one. I thought it was actually pretty well paced. Uh, all the Brownbeard stuff I thought was gonna be unenjoyable, but uh, it was pretty uh, hard-hitting, and I really enjoyed it. And of course, that little action scene that they had at the end with Luffy was really, really awesome, so... Great episode for me. I don't really have any complaints with this episode. If I have, like, one consistent complaint with One Piece, though, it's that I think they do the recap. Uh, I think they take too long with that, but I don't want to factor that into the score because they do that every friggin' week. So, honestly, great episode. A lot of buildup. That really cool action bit at the end was great. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Just as a One Piece fan, I really, really enjoyed it. And if you guys are following the series, you definitely need to check this one out because shit about to go down. So if you guys got a chance to check out this week's episode of One Piece, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Maybe you could tell me your favorite moments and what you're hoping to see later in the future of the Punk Hazard arc. You can let me know with your comments below. And before you leave, hit the like button, give this video a thumbs up, one of the best ways to help us out. And uh, you can check out some of the other videos we have available up top. And I will see you next week, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.